Welcome, 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 my friends. Uh, welcome, my friends. <laughs> All right, hello, everybody. Hello, 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 and welcome. How's everyone doing today? I don't give a fuck. No, but I've really been liking the Stranger Things 3 game, a retro throwback game to games like Zombies Ate My Neighbors and other kind of SNES Genesis era games. Um... With a cool soundtrack, and obviously all the characters from the show having unique abilities. It's been great. Of course, some people complaining the gameplay is not so fun. To which I say, okay, then don't make it about the gameplay. Enjoy the plot, enjoy the music, and interact with me, and we'll make these fun, entertaining streams. And to some extent, some people have, and other people just can't get over the fact that the game just looks and plays like a retro game. Oh, it's not riveting, therefore it's bad. Like, no, actually, that's, it means it's different. It means that it's, it's very different. Um, from what the game, from what, uh, excuse me, from what, uh, you would expect in the modern era for games. And that's not bad. You know what I mean? Like, that's not necessarily bad. That is it for Stranger Things 3 today. I hope you liked it. I, I really dig this game. I had a lot of fun. And I certainly hope that you guys will tune in for the final session later this week. More than likely, it's going to be a while. Probably, I'm thinking maybe like Tuesday. Because tomorrow we're going to do Final Fantasy. Monday we'll do Mario. So maybe we'll finish this off on Tuesday. Okay. Um, so I'm going to upload all this gameplay to DSP Gaming right now. I'll be back tonight around 6.45 p.m. for two hours of Judgment progress. I hope you'll be back for that tonight, Judgment. If not, tomorrow uh, will be Final Fantasy IX and S Sinking City. Monday will be Mario Maker 2, user-created levels, and Minecraft stuff. Okay, guys, thank you. Thanks to everyone who was supportive today. It was a little bit on the slower side, but then again, the viewership was on the slower side because, again, I'm playing an older-school-looking game. Oh, my God. Sadly... People are so close-minded about stuff that doesn't look like a modern game, right? Oh my god, the gameplay is not groundbreakingly riveting, and it looks like a you know a 16-bit game, therefore this game is bad. It's like, but, but wait, this is an interactive stream. The whole point of this is to be, be fun and entertaining with you guys. Let's talk about stuff while I play. Let's have fun. Yes, he actually literally just said, drop Final Fantasy IV. Okay, how about I drop you? I'd much rather drop you. All right, and I've had enough of this guy. This skirt-like whiz, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, he's been negative for like three straight days in stream chat, and I'm not going to put up with him anymore because he's starting to piss me off. So he's now banned and he's not coming back. Okay. I'm playing a fucking video game, you idiot. For those of you who love my streams and support me and want to maybe help me out, um, there is the ability to pre-order digitally Dragon Quest Builders 2 on my Amazon wish list. All right? And if you did that, that would help me out tremendously. That way I don't have to buy the game myself, especially now money is incredibly tight for me. Oh. I get more than enough value from WWE Network uh, for my monthly subscription, and I already have Hulu. It's not like I'm paying specifically Hulu to watch WWE, so I don't care. So hint, 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 if anyone wants to help out, please check out my Amazon wish list. You can see that below the stream on the, the dashboard, or you can type exclamation point wish list into the stream chat. It would be nice if someone did get that for me. <clears throat> As you guys know, for the past three weeks or so, this has been running where people have been nominating games on my forums on the kingofhate.com website. And now for the past week, people have been voting. Okay? Like, what is going to be the viewer's choice game? What is Phil going to be playing during the summer? I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I don't give a shit. But we have a problem. Some people have been telling me they have a strong feeling that some of the polling has been rigged. Allow me to explain, because you might be saying, how can the polling be rigged if it's all done on your website? Well, I guess what happened was we had a pretty good, you know, competition going, but primarily between three games. It was between Super Mario 64, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, and Knights of the Old Republic. Okay? Now, there were other games that were actually in the running and pretty close as well. They were only a few votes behind those three. So, at this point, anything was in the running to win. Okay? All of a sudden... Within the last, like, day, there was an insane surge of votes out of nowhere, which makes no sense. Why would there be a fucking surge of votes out of nowhere? I'm not talking, oh, a few. I'm talking, like, like dozens upon dozens of votes. Uh, and it doesn't make any sense if you look at it. It just doesn't make sense. And the accounts linked to said voting are all brand new accounts that seem to be made specifically just to cast those votes. So, after looking at this last night, I said, something's obviously up. And I contacted my webmaster overnight, and I said, hey, you know, what's going on with this? Can you take a look at it? And he confirmed, yeah, there's some shenanigans going on. Apparently, there's a couple bad eggs who've been just sitting there creating forum accounts endlessly and doing mass fake voting under the same IP address. So, there's probably some guy sitting in his fucking parents' basement for the past two days creating, you know, new forum accounts 
and he probably cast like 30, 40 fake votes. Um, so, that's not cool. Not only is that not allowed, it's against the rules, I'm just going to ban these people once I figure out who they are. So right now, my webmaster is looking into it. Within the next one to two days, he said that he will clean this up. What he's going to do is take all the duplicate votes under the same IP addresses, and he's going to delete the votes, basically, and ban those accounts. So whoever's been doing this fucking funny business won't be able to do it again. Um, and then we're going to fix the poll, okay? So, apologies to everyone that the poll is going to be delayed slightly. You know, I was hoping to have that answer for you maybe like today or tomorrow, but it may be delayed slightly, ever so slightly here, as uh, we get to the bottom of this fucking funny business, okay? King of Hypocrisy, what the hell does the Twitter poll have to do with a patron's choice event? <laughs> I love when people say stupid shit like that. So someone literally wasted that much fucking time, and that's just insane to me. That someone is sitting around with nothing to fucking do all day long for like a day and cast dozens upon dozens of fake fucking votes. That's just insanity. My head feels like it's swollen. I've got a big headache right up here, all throughout behind my right eye, into my ear. Okay, all pressure, head pressure. Okay. <laughs> John Dillard is maybe he, he hired some Chinese people to do it. Yes, they're, they're, they're actually out, they're exporting labor. They're hiring people from, like, the Middle East, people from China, Indonesia, to make fake forum accounts to vote on this poll. That's how important my viewer's choice poll is for this playthrough. They're actually paying money to hire employees to do this, to make fake voting. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let's move on to the next segment of the pre-stream, guys, which is the gratuitous plugs. All right. Now, normally, I would go into a million plugs for you guys. All I'm going to say is this. Thank you guys so much for your support. 11 years I've been a content creator. The past two and a half years I've been an internet uh, interactive live streamer. I love doing this for a living, and I know that you guys love the streams because you come out every day and you hang out with me, all right? Right now, as a matter of fact, I'm in one of the worst financial times ever in my entire life. It really fucking sucks with the situation I'm in, okay? Uh, because of stuff going on behind the scenes and things that have nothing to do with the streams, you know, I am just really bad off. <laughs> it was actually funny on the pre-stream. Someone said, "Are you? what are you doing today? What games are you playing? I said, I'm not. I'm just going to do an ASMR stream for like, a, for like five hours. I'm just going to whisper into the mic. I don't know what's going on with people that they like that kind of stuff, man. Kevy Webby Bear tipped me a dollar. Says, I've considered reading audiobooks for money. You have the voice for it. How about a cameo? Uh, I'm pretty sure no one wants to hear me read an audiobook. I'm just saying. Wow, now Kevy Webby Bear tipped me another dollar. Says, would I ever consider doing ASMR for patrons? No. What's the point? That's, that's weird shit. Who the hell wants that? No one wants that. Then Egg Gangster cheered with spoilers of Stranger Things 3 because he's a fucking idiot. Today we're about to play the game that concludes the plot. And then he point, he puts plot spoilers for Stranger Things 3 in the stream chat like a moron. So, yeah. He got timed out. Hopefully he's not going to come back and be a complete moron again with more spoilers. I mean, what a dumbass. Thank you for the cheer, but use your fucking brain. <laughs> we're about to play the game that concludes the plot line of the show. Let me tell everyone the conclusion of the show's plotline before the game starts today. Uh. Philip Smelly Chair has subscribed to the channel. Hilarious. My Smelly Chair. What chair are they referencing? My, I guess my computer chair? I have a Smelly Chair. Alright, it's very smelly apparently. I must like sit there farting constantly into the computer chair as I upload videos or something. Why can't we be friends? Because now that I have that gaming chair for a couple months, what do I think about it? Honestly, it's like any other chair. There's nothing any, anything better than any other chair. Real talk, it really isn't any any better. You know, I wouldn't bullshit you. I don't think there's any reason for anyone to have to go buy a gaming chair. They don't really fucking do nothing. Unless you're buying like a $400 insane memory foam leather gaming chair. That's different than the, the ones that they sell. Oh, you know, I'm a sponsored streamer or YouTuber and I have this gaming chair. For $300, you could buy it and make, and you know, I make money off of it. They're not very, I mean, honestly, the chair ain't that good. Real talk, so. Sound good? So that's pretty cool of them, you know. I told you guys that my streams are getting more popular. If I'm getting sponsors coming in to check out my streams, it's pretty obvious that my streams are getting more popular and things are on the up and up here on Twitch. So I'm really excited. I'm happy for this sponsorship. Um, By the way, any any chairs that you buy using my affiliate link, meaning using 
clicking on that thing on the dashboard or using the affiliate link I put in the description of my videos on YouTube, I get a little bit of cut as well. So you're getting a cool chair, you're saving 15 bucks. You know, Phil, when I contribute to you, sadly, some people harass me. And I apologize wholeheartedly for that, guys. I think that's that goes for any streamer. Like, these trolls, just they're just so fucking weird that they actually think it's a good use of their time that, oh, someone contributed to a streamer? Let me harass them, right? So the first thing I'll say, if you're going to be on a stream and you're going to contribute, I strongly recommend that you take your private messages on Twitch and you make them so only friends can message you. You'll have nothing but problems if you allow random people to message you. You know, you're just going to have assholes who are going to do stupid shit, okay? So that's step number one. But step two is you may want to be anonymous, okay? Um, you definitely want to be anonymous. So there you go. Thank you to uh, the anonymous cheerer. One final reiteration, please, if you want to help me out the most, please tip me. Helps me more than anything else. Uh, and I really need the help right now. I mean, I wouldn't have mentioned it so many times on the pre-stream if I were kidding. You know, I really need the support, if at all you can. All right. Fuck you.